Video editing can be straightforward, but when it comes to multi-camera editing, such as for interviews, sports, or especially podcasts, it can become a time-consuming challenge. Editing two or more lengthy camera recordings often requires hours of effort to synchronize video angles and match audio tracks. The good news is that Filmora 14 introduced a new automatic multi-camera editing feature, making your workflow faster and more efficient. Filmora is also the sponsor of this video. You can try out Filmora 14, a smooth and user-friendly editing software packed with exciting new features like smart BGM generation, planner tracking, AI sound effect generator, and more. I'll be covering all of these new features in detail in upcoming videos. Filmora is available on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. Check out the video description for more details. At first glance, Flimora seems a very simple and user-friendly software. Let's see how smooth it really is. I've already inputted a few video clips, which you can see in the media bin. For multi-camera editing, the first step is to select at least two video clips you wanna edit. For this tutorial, I have selected four video clips. By the way, for educational purposes, I'm using footage from Matty's podcast, the full podcast link in the description below. Once the clips are selected, right click any of the selected clips and choose create multi-camera clip. Instantly, multi-camera settings dialog box will appear. Here you can name your multi-camera project. I have renamed mine to multi-camera podcast. The next important setting is the synchronization method. Click the drop down menu to see two options, audio and fast frame. Fast frame uses the fast frame of each camera angle as the synchronization point. Audio matches the audio frames captured by all cameras and external recorders. I highly recommend using the audio method as it ensures precise synchronizations based on the matching waveforms. You can also enable auto proxy files for smooth playback of high resolution videos. Once you have set everything, hit OK to confirm. Within a few seconds, the auto synchronization process will be completed. If it fails, it's likely because not all video clips have matching audio, or a clip may have no audio at all. Regardless of audio quality, whether good or bad, matching audio is important for synchronization. The editing software analyzes the waveforms from all audio tracks and aligns them with a master audio track. Now you may notice that the program monitor or preview monitor is black. Simply move the playhead on the timeline to see the video. Next go to the player window and click switch multi-camera view to enable the multi-camera view. In this mode, the right side of the monitor shows the main preview of the video playing from the timeline. The left side of the monitor displays all the camera angles of the selected footage, allowing you to switch between them to choose the desired angle for the final edit. In the multi-camera panel, you see that footage on is selected and its audio is enabled by default. For this podcast, I now switch from footage on to footage 4, as it is the primary camera with the external microphone connected. The other cameras only use their internal microphones for audio. To make this change, hover your mouse over the video clip when the double arrow circle icon appears click to select the clip then you see a green or neon rectangle outline around the selected video turn off the audio for footage on and enable the audio for footage 4 as it is the main video you can also adjust this in the multi-camera audio source settings at the bottom of the panel now hit the space bar to start playback while the clip is playing hover the mouse cursor over the multi-camera view to active the multi-camera trim cursor then click on the multi-camera view screen to switch the timeline to the corresponding camera angle switch bit on the appropriate camera angles depending on who is speaking you can also follow the gesture expressions and energy of the other participants to make the editing visually engaging and dynamic now hit the space bar again to stop playback then select another video clip to switch it from the position of the time indicator this method allows you to pause playback for better video selection as it can sometimes be challenging to choose the best clips while video is actively playing. Once the primary editing is complete, play the video and carefully observe where precise adjustments are needed. If you find that the current cut point is not suitable, hover your mouse over the cut point until it turns to a bidirectional arrow. At this point, you can drag this cut point to adjust it as needed. Next, move the time indicator forward and change the clip at that position. To do this, ensure the clip on the timeline is selected, then go to the multi-camera panel and select the clip you want to replace it with. Repeat this process for any clips you feel need to replacing. For precise control, double click on the footage to open the multi-camera timeline. Read the reminder before entering, then click OK. This timeline allows you to make detailed edits and adjustments to your multi-camera sequence. To return to the main timeline, click on the drop-down menu in the timeline panel and select the main timeline. Finally, you can turn off switch multi-camera view to view only the playback window for a cleaner interface. 
Now let's move the time indicator to the beginning and add title. Flimora offers a wide variety of animated titles, so there is no need to spend time consuming title animations. Go to the title panel at the top bar, here you find a huge collection of pre-made animated titles. For example, let's select a title and drag it onto the timeline. Adjust the duration of the title as needed, next select the title and head over to the title adjustments panel in the top right corner. Choose the title layer 1 and then edit text 1. Let's change it to episode 12. To edit text 2, make sure the layer 2 is selected and then change it to podcast using the text editing options. You can further adjustments to the text appearance in the same panel. Now play the video in the timeline to preview your podcast with the new edit animated title. It already looks better. This simple adjustment can make your edited podcast more engaging. To make it even better considering adding supplementary footage like relevant scenes, objects or environments as b-roll. Here is how, first go to the media bin and import the footage you wanna use as b-roll. I have already imported a clip of a digital volume display. Drag this footage onto the timeline, placing it on a second layer above your main video. You might see a dialog box asking you to adjust the resolution, especially if the footage resolution doesn't match with the project settings. I recommend keeping the project settings to avoid compromising the quality of your edited podcast. Adjust the duration of the second layer as needed. If you notice transparent areas on the sides of the footage due to a resolution mismatch, you can fix it easily. First, make sure the footage is selected, then go to the video settings panel and increase the scale value to fit the footage to the project frame. The problem is solved. These minor adjustments can help retain viewer's attention and enhance the overall quality of your podcast or any other video project. In this tutorial, I am to show you how easily you can edit podcasts, music videos, or any events using multi camera setups. I hope Flimora 14's new features make your multi camera editing task more efficient. Check the video description for the link to download Flimora and give it a try. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.